Here we go again. Today we're going to be talking about TeamSpeak Server and how to set it up. So let's just get to it. All right, there's several things we have to do. Naturally, you have to have your Docker host up. The Docker host is a minimal VM that can handle containers on top of it. So once you have this set up, you can go into containers and set them up. So containers have this FreeNAS repository built in so that you can browse a ton of the containers that are already pre-included in FreeNAS, which is a really nifty thing. So let's go down to TeamSpeak and see README file. Now pay close attention. Okay, so uh, these config configs will need to be done before we can set up the TeamSpeak server. So we're going to have to set path to config file. But before we can do that, we also need the variable for user and group. The ports are fine. It's self-explanatory. And this tells us that these things are necessary because um, otherwise it won't work. So we're going to have to create a specific user and group to be the owner of that folder. And then at the end, once we set all that up, we're going to have to watch the server query to make sure that we can remember uh, the log file uh, for uh, super user so that we can get things like uh, tokens and and uh, login information. So more on that later. So uh, let's go to accounts. Actually, the first thing we have to do is create accounts. So I'm going to create a new account. Uh, I don't know. I'll call it 1000. Remember, this user ID is going to be very important. Let's say 1004. I'm going to call it speak. All right, I'm not going to bother with any of this except this. So this is going to be, uh, take note of this, okay? So this is going to be the home directory. I purposely made it on the drive where I have all my uh, Docker and VMs. So this is the mount folder going from root, and this is the name of the volume and the name of the folder that's assigned to this user. Make sure you copy that. This is going to go in our config of TeamSpeak. So take note of that. Take note of this UID. And click Save. Now, group is already created, I believe. Yes. And it has the same UID. So as soon as you create user, it creates group. So let's go to our containers now and actually create this TeamSpeak container. There it is. So we have to name the container. Let's call it Speak to Me. Make sure you select the proper host, the one that you set up. Yeah, expose all these ports are fine, right? Unless you want to specify specific ports, which I usually do. But in this case, it's not necessary. Now remember the host name um where that let's see there remember this this folder user and group 1004 has full administrative rights to this folder so we need to use this along with the ids of that user and that particular group depending how many users you have, it, this can be a different number. However, uh, when you create a new user, it starts from the ID 1000. So as you keep adding them, you know, you go up. Network settings, I like mine bridged and I like to assign static IP. I know that my, what my network is. You can generate this or you can create your own. Yeah, I just created my own MAC address. This is totally not necessary. 
Okay, in advanced, the only thing I want to do is make this interactive and speak uh, to speak that space. This is just for my internal network. So this is, again, entirely optional and entirely up to you. So I have bridge network, I have static IP, I have MAC address. Remember the value for uh, user and group, user group. Location of that folder that this user in this group has full rights to. Uh, the ports, a host, and the name of the Docker. Again, don't leave any spaces in the name if you're going to have more than one word. Use a dash or underscore. You can't leave any empty spaces. And click Save. And it's creating the container. Now the container should not start immediately because I did not click Auto Start in the advanced. And the trick is, once this is done, they say look at your log files when you start the server. Okay, so we have this. Now when I start this, we're supposed to look at our log files before we continue to be able to capture the tokens for the server and so I'm going to open my notepad and I'm going to try to copy and paste all that. And so when I start this server, I'm supposed to catch the log files in which it's going to display me the token for the server, the username and password. So you can set up the admin access to the server. And here we go. And uh, log files can sometimes be located on the bottom on, uh, next to the readme, or you can open the console, which I'm going to do. And it's supposed to tell me when I get to it, when it gets to it, installing the server. So you see everything that's going on right now. It's starting up all that fun stuff. There it is, 100%. Fetching data. So there's um, a server admin, and there's password, and there's token. That's it. Done. Thanks for watching.